Yeah. Organic Dope. And High Dollar Entertainment, Fuel TV 5, Dan Littlefield, Bill Schumer, Rob Holloman. What's up? What's up, all? What's up? Everybody's new records this year, this, this time. Bill's 52 and 35, Rob at 49 right. and 38, and me, myself, pulling up the rear here at 48 and 39 with my disastrous last card. Don't forget I'm the champ. You are the champ. He's the champ. And I'm going to defend. That's been the you problem why? for everyone the so man. far. Got some interesting fights here on these cards here. I think the, it's going to be a pretty good fight card overall in general. What do we got? Uh, we've got Stefan Struve in Steepy Miyaki. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Miocic. Miocic, yeah, it's okay. Steep, I'm not really sure. I'm That's not. awesome, though. <laughs> I love how you said it. Hey, man. I wish we could get like Bruce it. Buffer to say it that way. It'd be yeah. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's how it is. <laughs> Who knows? Let's just say it how it sounds. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> so, But it looks like no one's going to be going with him anyway. So I got Stefan Struve. He's got Stefan Struve, it looks like. He's big. It's going to be a good fight, man. Uh, Miocic uh, looked pretty good in that last fight. He did though. Look like I mean, he could be he's, tough. He's he's primarily a wrestler with some power, and yeah, he's I, a Muay Thai and a boxer and wrestler. Yep. I, I think agree. that that uh, if he takes down Stevan Struve, it's over. Submission. Struve's is going to submit him off his back um, with his. I agree. Ten feet long legs. Um, yeah, Stevan Struve probably by submission, but honestly, his standout's been looking better too. Struve he has. Says. He was kind of a. You said he's earlier, growing into his frame. He is. He's not as like lanky. He's a little bit thicker. Looks a little heavier. Fucking big. A little stronger. Six eleven. Yeah, he can't get Six much taller. And a half. It's a big dude. He's only got losses to guys like Travis Brown, who's what like six foot eight also or so. We'll be looking at him later. Uh, Roy Nelson, Junior Dos Santos. So I mean, really, he's. You look at the guys he's lost to. He hasn't. He's lost to all you know I top think guys. I think he's going up though. I, I don't think he's. I think he's going up too. I, don't I mean, think he's, he's going to stand. One his last back. three fights, he beat Pat Barry by submission, TKO Dave Herman, and submission Levar Johnson. So I mean, he's finishing his fights too. Not only is he looking better, he's looking better and finishing those fights, which is important. Too. Yeah, he's only 24 years old. So, uh, and how many fights has Ari got in the UFC at 24? Holy shit! Let's see, let me make sure. Oh yeah. my god! 12 fights in the UFC already. Yeah, 12 fights. Very in the first UFC. fight was against Junior Dos Santos. How old was he then? Let's see. That was in 2009. So that was what four years ago. Yeah. So he was 20, 20. years old, debuting. And his first fight was in February 2009, and his actually birthday is in February. So he was fighting right around his birthday, too. He's yeah. a fucking fighting machine. Well, there's a fun fact. Man, it is a nice little fun fact. <laughs> here's that guy. <laughs> Let's get to some real fucking stories. <laughs> All right. Let's get down to the next one. Dan Hardy and Amir Sadala. Take it away, Bill. I want to give it to Rob. I'm going to pass the baton. going to pass it on to Rob Holman. Here. What do you think, Rob? I think that Dan Hardy is too much for Amir Sadala. Amir Sadala is doesn't have the power to finish Dan Hardy, I don't think, and um, and it's only going to take one good punch for Dan Hardy to knock out Amir Sadala. I don't think it goes to the ground. I think it'll mostly be a stand-up fight. Hardy wins by TKO or, or KO. Amir Sadala does not win by his normal unanimous decision. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna. I, I agree with you. I think it's gonna be Dan Hardy. Dan Hardy, I thought was a guy who was gonna be out of the UFC in a quick stint of four losses in a row, and then he fired back with his last win. And I think he's gonna continue to roll on. Maybe he's getting a little more comfortable now from coming over and uh, you know just being in the UFC and fighting you know a lot topper guy, you know top do you, guys. Do you think fighting in England helps him? No. Uh, it doesn't hurt. Hmm. I mean, I well, give me that baton because I think Amir Sadala takes this. Um, I think he's got more power than you think. Uh, maybe not enough to knock Dan Hardy out, but Hardy has uh, has been cracked before, if I'm not mistaken. Cond um, I believe uh, s just Amir's smart, man. He's so smart. I think he'll fight a little smarter. He's uh, smaller, isn't he? He's probably a little smaller, but uh, Dan he's Hardy's five foot eleven. He trains so much, man, and he and he's fucking smart, and he fights smart, and his striking's looking better, and he's got One decent inch Muay Thai. If it does hit the ground, Hardy's hard, hard to submit, but Sadala could do it. And ask GSP how hard it is. He trains, him. man. He trains hard, and I think Amir Sadala wins by his normal decision. <laughs> I'm gonna say Dan Hardy's gonna finish this by TKO in the first round. Hmm. First round, wow. First round. He's going to say, Damn. fuck you, Amir. I'm taking you down, and I'm going to pound you I out. I think at least the last two rounds. I'm going to say early. Wow. You're you're expecting a squash, then. 
I am. I don't like Amir Sadala at all. I don't like him either, but damn. Sorry, Bill. Hey. I'm I'm the champ. You can say what you want. <laughs> I outclass. <clears throat> That's true. That's what and the guy I said. I hold the belt, even though I haven't defended it. The guy said I'm he, about to. That guy said you you completely outclass us, and then yep. he he went on to lose his bet with Brian. Yeah, Stan. that sucks. I'm sorry for him, man. It's four hundred bucks. That's a that's a lot of money. Yep, you should have went with Bisping. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, you should have tried to tell. What, you, what man. do we know? What do we know? Tried yeah. to tell him. We got John Hathaway, John McGuire. Taking Hathaway. He looked good up until. Agreed. He looked good up until his fight with Mike Pyle, which he lost by decision. Quicksand. He's tough, though, man. Yeah, I'm surprised he lost that fight, though. Um, he's fighting a fellow a fellow hometowner. John McGuire, which I'm going with him. I like Tell his Wikipedia why, page. Man. Well, for one, I'm gonna be a little. Uh, I'm gonna be a little. <laughs> Did you say here. you're going with him because you like his Wikipedia page? I do. I like his five belts he's holding. Um, he's a shorter guy, and he is a. It says right here. Quality pick. There. Gypsy Jiu-Jitsu. Gypsy so, Jiu-Jitsu. I'm not sure what okay, that I'm is. I'm glad I picked um, John Hathaway now. But he's got an impressive win streak going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven wins in a row. Uh, last time he lost was to Simon Thorson, uh, Simon Thorson, you know, which I know who he is, once, right? and Tom. Wall. I do know this, okay, just but uh, he's not on a win <laughs> fight like this. And this guy here won a couple a of belts, fight. defended a uh, win streak. My bad, uh, but he's got a submission of the night, you know, in the UFC uh, after oh, his UFC God. debut. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with him. I hope Hathaway knocks. There you out. go. We got Brad Pickett and Eves Wabin. Well, that's pretty good. More than another I don't even know if that's right. I'm Wabin. pretty sure that's right. That'd be awesome. It would show more Take. of the reason why I outclass. Yeah, you can pronounce all these names. I'm a pronouncer. Um, Mika I fuck them up all the time, too. But Brad Pickett. Oh well. I'm taking Brad Pickett. I agree with Rob. And I'm going off the uh, charts with Eves. How'd you say that? Man, name? you're going to be falling on this card. We'll see. Or I'm rocking already in the already in last out. place. Or I'm rocking in the back Oh, come out. on. Let's be real. I mean, hey, you never know what happens to numbers. Real. Uh, Paul Sass, Matt Wyman. Paul Sass. And we all have Paul Sass here. Agreed. Paul and Sass I believe is going to beat Matt Wyman's ass. I think submission. Yep, probably so. Yeah, Paul He's Sass slick, has man. never lost. He's so. real slick. He has never lost. I don't never lost. I didn't know that. And he has a submission Ooh. of the night. A Wyman's submission tough, of man. the night as well. Yeah. That's Wyman. tough then. Yeah. I'm not a fan. I'm still taking Sass. Kyle's king. Motherfucker. <laughs> Kyle's Kings. <laughs> Damn, why don't you take this one? Kyle Kingsbury. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Let me get it out there for you. He's fighting. Uh, you want to help me with this one, Bill? Jimmy Manua? <laughs> Manua. Kind of Man like Manua? Host Manua? Is it Yimmy? Uh, Maybe Yimmy Manua? Manua? Could be Manua. Manua? It's probably Jimmy. Well, but, Jim. Uh, we'll just call him Jim. Who is going to take Kyle Kingsbury in this fight? I'm taking Jim. I'm taking Jimmy, too. Kingsbury. Really? The guy that lost to Bonner? The guy that lost to Bonner. Bonner earned a fight with Anderson Silva. Don't doubt him. Okay. <laughs> You're the champ. I am the champ. <clears throat> He's coming off two why. losses in a row, actually. He just lost to uh, Glover yeah. Texera, too, in May. Oh, man. Uh, by submission, arm triangle choke. And More like ass Yimmy. raping. Oh, yeah, Yimmy Manawa yeah, here is uh, undefeated, by the way. You know, undefeated? You know that or not. And fighting in his hometown. <clears throat> yes. I do know that. I do actually know you that. You do know. Well, that's good. What am I here for, then? Going for Kyle. Uh, I got your back, Kyle. I just don't feel like you're going to be strong there. Hmm. Well, yeah. how about Andy Ogle? I'm picking Andy Ogle. There you go. I'm picking Andy Ogle. I got him, too. Against Akira Corsani? Yeah. Corsani? Corsani? You know, I did like Akira Corsani on The Ultimate Fighter, but... I don't even know who he is. I ain't gonna mm, lie. Me either. No idea. He's he was on the Ultimate Fighter. He he's got um, good jujitsu. Clearly, he didn't good, win really, it. Really, you know, but he went. He was like in the semis or something. Um, good knockout power. I think he lost to. Uh, yeah. He lost to Paul Reed. No, it was. Oh no. They don't count that on the record. Oh, you okay? No, you're right. I'm, if I'm up from the show. Yeah, it was like in the semifinals of the show. I think he lost to um, the guy that went to the finals. I can't remember his name now. The Steven was, Seiler. No, the guy with the vampire teeth. Anyway, it doesn't I'm looking it up for the uh, event. It doesn't matter. Uh, he's got knockout power. He's got good jujitsu. Um, but man, every time I pick the guy, he fucking loses. So I'm not picking him. Picking Andy Ogle. Brad Tavares versus Tom Watson. 
picking uh, Brad Tavares. So am I. I'm going to be a champ. I'm taking Tom Watson. Tom Watson. That's how I roll. Tom Watson for Bill. DeMarquez Johnson and Gunnar Nelson. Gunnar Nelson. Gunnar Nelson. You got it. Gunnar Nelson, he's the <clears throat> uh, the brother of Matt Nelson. They were in the band Nelson in the 80s. It's a big hair band. Big hair mm-hmm. band? Yeah. Don't know them. I do know he's an undefeated. Anybody, you, got you got that CD in your car? Nah, I probably did own their CD one time, though. I bet I did. I might have to look it up. You know. Matthew, Matthew and Gunnar Nelson. It's Gunnar be, Nelson is got to be the same guy, undefeated. right? He'd only be like 45. Do you think he comes out to that so, uh, song from them? He should totally come out to that song. It'd be hilarious. Catch him on Twitter. <laughs> tweet him. Tweet him. Yeah, tweet him. Make tell, it happen. Tell I want to see he, it happen. He needs to come out to fucking um, After the Rain or whatever the fuck the song was. That'd be pretty badass, huh? Yeah, we did Jason that. Young versus Robbie Peralta. Yeah, Robbie Peralta. Robbie Peralta. Oh, yeah. Robbie Peralta. We out. Peace.